So today we are making Shrek headbands for Shrek Rain. Yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. You could tie it from behind. You could probably make it into a choker if you want to. Up to you. So you just need some green yarn. And first we're going to chain six. Six, and then you're gonna do two more. One, two more chains. And then you're gonna do a half double crochet at the sixth chain. So now we have chain two, half double crochet. And then five more half double crochets to go. Five half double crochets, actually six, and a chain two. And then you're going to continue to do six, chain two, and then do six half double crochets. So you're going to go into the first one that's with the chain two, half double crochet. And then the last one, you're going to go into the middle of these two. One, two, five. And on the sixth one, you're going to go in between the two. Third row. Second row down. Chain two. So you're going to keep doing this till you have 25 rows. So I finished crocheting all 25 rows over here. And then I, I did what we're about to do on the other side. Like it just continued. after. So after the 25th row, you're going to start this triangle pattern till the end. And that's what we're going to do now. So you're going to cut off over here. So actually you're going to continue on the 20th and then start this so you're gonna put two th I'm gonna say the pattern and then we're gonna do it so you're gonna chain one turn and then you're gonna put two single crochets together so there's six so the first two together to make a decrease so one one's in and then I'm gonna do the second one in and then you're going to have three. It's a single crochet decrease. And then you're putting it through. And then you're going to do two regular. One, two. And then I kind of messed up at the beginning. So you're supposed to have another chain here. But you could just do this. One. And then wrap it around again. Two. And then you have three. And then you're just going to put it through as if it's the two together. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to do another decrease. So, single crochet decrease, go in, go in again, front to back, and then you have three in a row, down. Then one single crochet, and then two together. One, and then you're just going to put it in there. If there's a problem, just put it in there. Get those three on the loop. So now you have three chains. Chain one. One. Two. Decrease. And then one. Two. Decrease. 
And then this last one, you have two chains. Go one and two. And now you finish your point. And then you're going to chain 25. See you when we're doing the point. So now that you have the whole strip done, it doesn't matter that this hole is here, but whatever. You have a strip done, let's give you your headband. And we're going to create the horn now. This is the horn. I made the extra one off camera. So he looks like that. He's really easy to make, and that's going to be your ear. So for the horn, if you want to know, I'm going to write the pattern down below. But it's going to be, you're going to chain six, create a circle, so you're going to attach the six to the end of the chain. And then you're going to do six single crochet six times for the height so six around and then six height two and then when you're at your last six you're gonna go half double crochet two double crochet together in one loop and a half then two double crochet again another loop two double crochet another loop half double crochet alone and then you're gonna slip stitch and then you're gonna bring it through the end so you're going to be able to tie it to the area that you want how it depends on how you want it but I'll show you how high I put it I basically do like three to the third one and then I tie the two loops behind so we're going to do a horn together this is way too short I'm gonna slip knot, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one circle. And then you're gonna do six single crochet. Go on the first one. We're going to start the second row now. That's where I'm at. And you want the tail to be sticking out. I'm on the fifth row. Now you're going to do one half double crochet in the first stitch. And then you're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch over here. This is after you're done doing your six by six pillar. So one double crochet, two double crochet in the same stitch. So what we've done so far is six pillar, six times and then half double crochet double crochet and double crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to do two double crochets again in the next stitch three times basically so one group second group of double crochets and then the third group to create that like weird fan of Shrek's ear I don't think it's weird I just think the shape is a little and then you're going to do a half double crochet and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and you're going to cut off a large piece you want not like huge but like that big I use milk clippers that I don't use for feet just because I carry it everywhere and it's not really sharp so then you're going to go into th this loop and you're going to just pull it through on the inside so they're both coming from the inside now. Here's Shrek ear number two, Shrek ear number one, and this. You're going to want to tie these two together and cut it off and 
pull in view strings to, to make it look nice. So now that you have the three pieces together, you're going to put it all together. So starting triangle and then you're going to count fifth row. And you're going to basically put it like that down. And you can see the, the holes already kind of in place. So you do one above and one below in the middle. That's how it looks like. So that's the row. You can see that's a row, that's a row. So it depends where you want it. And then you just and tie it behind. You can like make bow ties if you want to unravel it. If you don't want to have the ears on all the time but you want to ke keep the green bandana. But this is a striker for life for triple tying him. That's it. And you want to make sure that the bottom of the ear faces the bottom of the triangle because you don't want your shark ear to be facing the other way unless that's what you do want my shark ears are sagging next one this guy same thing around five stitches away one, two, three I made a few mistakes in this guy, but honestly, no one will ever notice, so nobody's identifying it like crazy. I'm just trying to choose where to place it exactly. Find them holes. Okay. This is the guy. I'm just going to tuck in the laces at the end. But just so you can see, remove all of the old and with the new. And this is what he looks like. Button. You can shape them however you want. You can add like stuffing in here if you want so they're more like thick and they like stay put more because they're only sagging because they don't really have weight to them. But I'm basically sure I'm going to be parting at this video. It's going to be super fun.